Hello, my name is Bob. Welcome to a short stop on pool. This is my first product review on this channel. Jay Flowers was nice enough to send us this cue to review, and so this is our honest opinion. This is a non-technical review, just the opinion of a couple long-time pool players who have each played with plenty of different cues over our careers. Let's get right to the review. Hello, welcome to Short Stop on Pool. I'm Bob Keller. This is David Sheasley, my co-author. I'm going to give a little plug to our book, Short Stop on Pool. Check it out at shortstoponpool.com. Shameless plug. Yeah. Shameless plug. We are, have been asked to do a review of a pool cue, and this is the first time I've ever done any kind of a review video on my channel, so this is new for us. We are amateurs at this. Be patient with us. But uh, both of us uh, gave this cue a good test run, so we think we can give you a real honest review of, of what we think of it. This is a J Flowers J Flowers cue. cue. And it is, I believe, the retail price on this queue is about $300. And it's a production queue versus a custom queue. So I thought I'd chat about that a little bit. What, what kind of a queue is this? What are we looking at here? And so what I can tell you is what I remember from the old days. And uh, if you look at the gray hair in front of you here, we know about the old days. <laughs> And uh, back in the old days, you, you had two choices. You could either buy a custom queue, which is a guy who was working in his garage in his shop and making queues uh, one at a time, and he would make them to order. You'd go in there and talk about what kind of wood you wanted in your queue. You want Coca-Cola or Purple Heart or Silver Rings or what you want. And those would tend to be kind of expensive queues, but they'd be real good high quality. Um, and then there was your other alternative was a production queue. And back in the day... I think the two biggest production queue companies were Mucci and McDermott. Mm -hmm. And they're both still around today. Right. And there was other companies, Viking and Helmstetter and stuff like that. But, but those types of companies would have a catalog and you'd have pictures of the queues and you'd say, oh, I want this one. And they would get one out of the inventory and ship it to you. So that's a production queue company. And that's what you're looking at here with the J Flowers queue. And there's a lot of production queue companies today. And I think... The two biggest ones today are probably, well, I think no doubt it's Predator and Qtech. Mm -hmm. And they are sponsoring a lot of pro players. And they're extremely successful. They, their cues tend to be also a little on the expensive side. And as it should be, they're good quality cues. And they're a departure from what production cues used to be because the old, the, the old Muchies and, and uh, McDermott's would, would use the same materials as the custom makers. They would just pre-make all the cues to a certain design spec, whereas Q-Tech and Predators are using uh, new materials. Mm -hmm. You're going to see carbon fiber shafts and uh, composite materials used in the butt end of the queue, and that's what Jay Flowers is doing as well, but they're offering it at a lower price point. So how do they do that? Well, first of all, the companies like Predator and Q-Tech have gone away from traditional designs on the butt end where, you, where you'd have all the points and, and ring work and that type of thing. So certainly they have some cues like that, but a lot of them go away from that. But the J Flowers is reproducing or, or staying with that, uh, you know, a fancy design with points. Yeah. And this one has points on above the wrap and below. The primary difference and the reason why this cue is able to be cheaper is these are decals, they're not inlays. So you still have some wood in the butt end of the queue and some syn synthetic materials, but it's constructed to be, be very consistent uh, throughout. And so you have a consistent hit, not only in the, the shaft of the queue, but the butt. So rather than being uh, inlays, these are decals. Yeah, and, and I would take uh, that one step further back, saying that the, the inlays were, in fact, um, an attempt at reproducing a cue that was truly had a splice manufacture right. where, the, where the wood was um, pointed. The points were constructed because of the butt of the cue was spliced and, and supposedly would give you a firmer hit because of that. They then went away from that and just started with inlays, which were cheaper to manufacture than... Yeah. Uh, than the uh, the splice, uh, and uh, now the decal is cheaper yet. Yeah, cheaper yet. But you're getting the modern materials, so you're getting a pure uh, uh, 
uh, density of materials and hit throughout. And obviously we're not up on the technical details. You can look at Jay Flower's website for that. But this is like a $300 Q and you're getting a carbon fiber shaft. Um, that's amazing. I bought a carbon fiber shaft from Q-Tech and it was over $300 just for the shaft. And so, you, and so we've hit a lot of balls with this and I think this is just as good as any carbon fiber shaft you're going to find. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any issues with this at all, and uh, I don't know if you want to take a look at that oh, the sure. card and talk about the specs of this a sure. little bit. Sure, sure. The um, yeah, and it is a pro taper if I'm looking at that right. Yeah, it's pro taper shaft, which is a a big deal and a good thing. Um, the weight is 19.3, which is very comfortable for me. That's about what I normally shoot with. Uh, it's 58 inches long and a wrap. There is a wrap on it that's leather or leather out. Yeah, leather at wrap. And is this 12.7 diam uh, millimeters diameter? Does it say on there? 12.5 was. 12.5. So that's a real what? common. So uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up some shots and we're going to hit some balls with this with this cue. You can see how it reacts and you can see how we react to the cue. And then we'll come back and do a little conclusion uh, what we think. I'm going to shoot a straight pool break shot because that's what I, we're about at straight pool at shortstop on pool. And uh, I did try to look at putting my extension in here because I'm six foot five and I shoot with a very long uh, extension between the shaft and the butt, but the threads aren't quite right. This is a three ace pin and it's, it's less than 10 uh, threads per inch and it's a nice firm uh, solid joint. So I like that. It's good quality. So perhaps if Jason Shaw used the J-Flowers cue, he wouldn't have scratched on that break shot. Yeah, how about that? Just kidding. <laughs> nice. So I like to test the, the, the hit, the feel of, a, of the cue by doing some stroke shots with it. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't feel any vibration. Yeah, just come straight back. So um, if I could put an extension in here because I'm six foot five, I would definitely be able to play with this cue just as well as I do with my own playing cue. Yeah, it's a solid, solid dependable hit. And it's not a surprise because you have a uh, composite materials in the butt with a carbon fiber shaft. So you're just gonna get good hit, a good hit. Yeah, this is great. Let's do a little power follow here. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, real dependable. Given the materials and the carbon fiber shaft, uh, you're going to get consistent play, and that's what you want. Mm -hmm. It's got a real good hit, and you're going to be able to, to uh, get used to this cue immediately and trust it. And that's what you're looking for in a, play, in a playing cue. Yeah. Like it. So we're going to test the deflection of this shaft. I'm going to try and cut the nine ball. It's a little bit of a back cut with a lot of inside English, so I need to be accurate with this. So I'm trusting that I'm not going to get any deflection, and I can get position on that ten ball. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Didn't have to do any adjustment uh, for the left English on that shot. So let's see how it does for one pocket. Nice. Wonderful. Yeah. So the, this cue came with an inexpensive case and a nice set of joint protectors. So I would like to say that the, the cue is um, a moderately priced uh, cue that, that, that puts it in, in the range of uh, beginners, uh, but at the same time its performance is, is quite good and uh, could well extend into to a range of much better players and still be acceptable performance. Okay. What do I think of this cue? Would I recommend this cue? I would. I tell you what, I definitely would. And it reminds me of something back in the day, back in the day again, um, I remember my first pool cues that I owned were like a $15 Walmart special. Mm -hmm. and it was just a piece of junk. But after I started to learn to play a little bit better, I wanted a good cue, so I went to a production cue. And I remember to this day the first cue that I owned, the first good you know, quality cue that I owned, was a McDermott. I think it was a D91 or something like that. Okay. And so this is the late 1980s, and it was about $125. And so it was a fairly plain cue, but of what you would consider to be a good quality playing cue for a beginner to intermediate player at the time. And that's what this reminds me of. This, I, and I would say, is better than the entry-level McDermott that I bought back in the 80s. And definitely a good quality playing cue, and that's what you're looking for first. Carbon fiber shaft, you just can't beat it. You've got the low, low deflection. And um, given inflation, I think this is the same price as the entry level IQ that I bought in the 1980s. It's only 300 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a, a, a league player looking for something nice, but you don't want to break the bank, if you want to, you want something that's real good quality, but you're not going to mind if it gets broken when you're in Vegas at, at, in leagues or gets stolen or something. This is a great cue. Maybe you're saving up for a $2,000 custom cue and you want something good quality to play with for a couple of years, this is going to do it. Uh, it's, you're going to be hard pressed to find a cue that plays better uh, at this price point, and it's largely because of the carbon fiber shaft. So is, is this cue for everyone? No, definitely not. It's aimed at a certain market. It's for someone who uh, isn't ready yet or just doesn't want to spend a ton of money on an on a $800 cue tech or Predator or a $1,500 or $2,000 custom cue, and you're going to get all the playing quality. And even though it's not inlays, you get some really good looks with it too. So um, for those players, and I think that's a real large segment of the pool player market, this is a great cue. I hope you found that informative, entertaining, and helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Head over to satoriflatrack.com and check out the promo video for my new and unique pool ball rack. And of course, shortstoponpool.com for my book, A Shortstop on Straight Pool. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time at Shortstop on Pool.